So let's take it for a test drive. First, I'm gonna go out on the highway, see what the acceleration's like, and just kind of cruise around town as well, just to feel what it's like on just regular roads. So the, the highway, the, the speed is 70 miles an hour on this highway. So I can, I'm gonna accelerate quite a, quite a bit and see what we got with this V6. Now this is a the, the this is the same V6 is found in the Challenger and, and a lot of different vehicles. It's, it's a strong, very well received V6, but this is a big vehicle. So we'll see what's going on here. Now that was going uphill as well. Um, but I would say this the V6 is fine for normal driving. It's not gonna pin you in your seat or anything like that. It's just kind of like, you know, mediocre. I, I definitely would get the, the V8 if you're gonna do any kind of hauling. Uh, this feels adequate you know, adequate for the size of the vehicle. It's a little, I don't I wouldn't say underpowered, but it's, it's pretty close to being underpowered for this size of vehicle, that the V6. And I really do like this engine and transmission. This drivetrain is, is really good and, and, and they use it, like I said, in the Challenger and the Charger and stuff like that, but this is a big vehicle. So the cruise control um, system seems to work pretty good um, as far as the distance between me and the vehicle in front of me and the ability to keep an eye on the lines and um, you know kind of like see what happens if I don't touch the, the steering wheel it lets me know if it sees a line or not It can maintain uh, the lane just with one line, but two lines, of course, is better. All right, I'm not touching the steering wheel. All right, I just, just turned it off. So, but at, um, at 71 miles an hour, the RPMs is about, about 18, 1850 RPMs. So cruises along pretty good. It doesn't it doesn't feel like it's straining either. And the brakes are nice and smooth. You can feel that the brakes are adequate for sure. And they're they're smooth and that they're not typically when brakes are you know kind of struggling because of the weight of the vehicle or whatever then you don't have a smooth feel you have like a like a, a rough feel but this one is nice and smooth so rough like you know you can't slow down like it like it wants to I don't know how to explain it but anyways it feels fine the turns I don't feel much leaning it doesn't feel like it's like excessively leaning it doesn't feel like a heavy vehicle it's kind of interesting it just kind of feels like the regular Grand Cherokee it doesn't feel like this big heavy vehicle like like some like some do quite a bit of engine noise everything else is pretty much 
the, the, the outside noises are pretty well contained, but the engine, since this, you're doing all this revving and stuff, uh, it you can you can hear it. <laughs> you definitely hear the engine revving. Which some people might like that, especially if you got the Hemi, nice nice sounding engine. very comfortable I mean the, the, the seat the ride um, you know the ease of use uh, as far as you know steering and it's just a feels really nice to be in definitely gonna have to adjust the brightness on that that screen it's a little bit too bright go ahead and dim it down like so And if you want to turn the screen off, you can do that. And then the backlight goes off and it's completely dark there. Yeah, I'm really glad that it doesn't feel like a heavy vehicle. That was my major concern, that it's going to be like this big, lumbering weight, springy suspension and all that kind of stuff. But no, it feels good. It feels like basic, very similar to the previous Grand Cherokee. It's for, it doesn't feel like it's bigger. <laughs> it feels very nice.